Hey there, Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for July 19th, and today we get to talk about a really cool actor, but especially voice actor. I think you're going to be really impressed with um, some of the characters he's voiced, uh, not just Disney characters, some fun characters from history that we've all really enjoyed. Um, his name was Dallas Raymond McKinnon, or he liked to go by Dal McKinnon. So he was born on this day, July 19th in 1919, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Quite a bit the back there. Um, but he was born in La Grande, Oregon. And Oregon and La Grande, Oregon played a big part in his heart his whole life, and he never strayed far. Uh, too far for too long from Oregon. Um, so, like I said, he was uh, born there. He ended up being the voice of Gumby in Art Cloakey's um, Gumby. And then he was also Archie Andrews in um, the Archie series of Filmation. Um, he was also the primary voice of Buzz Buzzard in Woody the Woodpecker. So he, he created a TV show um, back in the 50s. Uh, it was a TV wraparound series. I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't remember. Obviously, it wasn't there in the 50s, but it was Space Funnies and Captain Jet, which um, was seen weekday mornings um, on TV in Los Angeles. And so it would air, it was the first to air reruns of The Little Rascals and Laurel and Hardy shorts. So that's just really interesting history there that that was all happening and that was his TV show. And um, he'll later do a TV show that we'll, I'll, we'll talk about. But for Disney, oh my goodness, I'm gonna save his best for last because you guys know his voice really well, especially theme park goer, Walt Disney World and Magic Kingdom fans, you'll you'll know his voice. So we'll save that for the end. But some of the voices that he did, he was in Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Mary Poppins, uh, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, and his laughter as a hyena in Lady and the Tramp was later recycled as a stock sound effect for the voice of Ripper Roo in Crash Bandicoot video game series. So that's something that happens with video games and other things they actually recycle. Um, also with cartoons, recycle certain really good um, laughters or sounds or, you know, like Goofy's um, sound he makes when he's falling. That's a recycled sound that's used. Um, I actually, we were watching the Apple Dumpling Dumpling Gang and um, there's a scene with Don Knotts like falling off a ladder and they use that goofy sound in the Apple Dumpling Gang. So you gotta, you gotta watch the old movies. There's cool little, you know, Easter eggs in there, fun stuff in there. Um, so he also was in the African part of It's a Small World. He's the laughing hyenas in that. He's good with the hyenas. Then Benjamin Franklin um, for F. Cotts the American Venture. That's that's him, Dal. And then also in the Country Fair Jamboree, he is Zeke. So I know we talked about <laughs> Big Gal's voice recently. This is the voice of Zeke. And then the big role that you guys all should know him by, I've heard this voice so many times, is he is for Big Thunder Mountain, he's that voice giving all the instructions, um, you know, this is, here's the wildest ride in the wilderness, that's him, <laughs> that's Dal McKinnon. So really, really cool that we get to hear his voice all the time and so many things at Disney World, so really neat and film as well. Um, so interesting, he was married, he actually married his, you know, childhood sweetheart. They were married for 69 years or 67 years until his death. And then, um, 
Her name was Betty Warner. They had eight kids. Six of them were girls, two of them were boys. And actually, he worked in California until 1968, and then they headed back to Oregon. He loved it there, so much so that he worked, um, he was an avid Oregon Trail historian, and he visited schools around the Northwest, inclu including children, or lecturing children about the Oregon Trail and its history and worked at the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center giving instructional speeches and putting plays, skits, songs, stories, and informational documents leading up to the Oregon Trail's um, sesquicentennial, 150th anniversary. That's amazing. And if you think about that, like the voices he did and the person that he was and the TV show he had in uh, Los Angeles, I think he really put, must have put a really inter big entertaining twist on you know, teaching this history to children. So this is so cool. And you might be able to find it, but he actually did a TV show about it. So, or actually it wasn't about it, but it was, um, he worked with the Oregon Public Broadcast to help teach uh, children German. And it was a show called The Poppenheimers. And the, his character lived in a Volkswagen bus and would tell stories about relatives in Germany. Um, many of the episode had clips of Germany as well as cartoons. Really, really interesting. I want to find that particular show and see what that was about. That just seems like a really cool way to teach language. And I know, you know, children are at the best time to learn language. And so taking all his talents and putting into a show, it'd be interesting to know how successful that was. But. You know, this is someone whose voice you've heard many times and you just didn't realize it. Really cool guy, big family man, and you know, he's a country bear too, so that's just awesome. So go see what you can find about Dal McKinnon um, out there. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna be looking too for that particular TV show. I didn't find it this time, so. And um, you know, we will, that's it for this day in Disney, and we'll see you guys next time.